and welcome to Acres of Abundance. Today we're going to talk about tomatoes and staking up tomato plants. One of my favorite ways, and I just got it this year, is an obelisk for my garden. Um, my husband Rob built me these obelisks. It's been my dream to have them in my tomato garden because it's such a great way to tie up um, plants without having a lot of the tomato cages, which there's nothing wrong with tomato cages. Those work great and they're very useful and functional. It's just I've found over years if I wait too long for my plant, like if I miss that sweet spot when it is to put them on, it's actually very difficult and you can bruise the tender leaves and stems and I end up breaking branches off and just trying to get them in there to support them. And um, so I've always wanted these obelisks, which not only are they functional, but they look really great in a garden. I think they're a really nice architectural piece um, for your garden. Um, so you're gonna have a DIY with Rob to learn how to make these obelisks. They're actually really easy. Um, couldn't be easier and they're very, very sturdy. As you'll see behind me, this thing is not going anywhere. And all it is is a, um, a board that's cut into pieces and Rob makes a really nice point on it so it stays in the four corners very well. And then we just tied it up with some rubberized wire. I just find it's a little better than twine, in my opinion, because twines can sometimes dig into the branches um, or the, you know, the leaves and the stems and bruise them. And this just is a little softer. So anyway, but we use that to, once you get the, all the boards done, then your obelisk, you basically bring the four, you know, pieces together and you tie them up to make it really sturdy and secure. And I have to say, you know, I've been so impressed that this is just so sturdy. I, I really wasn't sure um, how it was going to work out, but it really, really is a nice structure. Hey guys, I'm Rob, and uh, I'm going to help you make an obelisk. So I'm going to walk you through how to make the legs for this. I prefer to use cedar wood because it's very much an outdoor uh, wood that is going to weather through all sorts of storms and, and last you a few years, not just one season. The first thing I want to do is I want to cut this in half because out of this 2x4, even though it's $10, we're going to try and get two legs out of this. So I'm going to take one of these ends and make four cuts and just angle inward toward the center. That's gonna give us a point that's gonna stick into the ground really solid and, and make this really stable for you. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to protect it. What we're gonna do is coat the legs so that the legs that are in the dirt will last longer for you and uh, ultimately give you more life for your obelisk. So all we're gonna do is just take it and bring the tip down in there as far as we can and here's what they look like when they're all done and dried. So, now that you're not using these to put in your tomato garden, a use that I have found for these is when you have dogs that like to lay in your flower beds, <laughs> put these around your tender flowers to protect them from them laying in them or chewing on the stems. I have so many flowers that literally, I don't know if they just get bored because they lay in the flower beds and they see a pretty flower and start chewing on the stem. I have no idea what it is, but for some reason, our, we have three labs. Our two yellow ones are a little bit older. They've never been chewers, but our little walker, you'll see walker around here. He's six months old and he is the cutest little puppy ever. Very smart, very cute. Uh, you can't really get mad at him because he's so darn cute, but he chews relentlessly on my pretty full of flowers. So the only way I can keep them out of them is to put these little cages around my plants. And then, of course, it looks like they've been digging uh, in here, but uh, I put rocks sometimes around the plant to keep, again, a little bit more of a deterrent so they don't get so close to the plants and start chewing up the stems. So it's a great repurpose thing if you're not gonna use these in your tomato patch that you can use them in here. We're so glad you joined us today and I had to introduce you to Walker. <laughs> this is Walker. He is oh, all wet. But anyway, here's the sweet little boy that chews up my plants. And oh, hello, this is Daisy. Uh, sweet puppies. 
couldn't love them more. But yeah, they are our little Henri pets, and for sure, uh, we've got to keep those flowers uh, from getting chewed up by this cute face. 